I'm Andy Jacques Maines. I'm an engineer at IBIS. I designed the IBIS OSA you see here. Today we'll talk about how to remove the motor off the bike. Well, the reasons to take the motor out are to access any of the Bosch parts like the lower battery mount, the charge port, any of the wiring for the front or rear lights, the uh, speed sensor wire, um, or the power cable, um, and also to replace the seat post housing. To take the motor on and off, you'll need a two and a half, three, four, six, and eight millimeter Allen wrenches, a T20 wrench, and a torque wrench with a six millimeter head. To make things easier, we'll remove the chain and take off both the wheels. Because we're dealing with the underside of the bike, it helps a ton to be able to put the bike vertically or even upside down as long as you can get it low enough. Use an eight mil Allen to remove the left crank arm. Next step is to remove the down tube bash guard, two and a half millimeter Allen wrench. To remove the IBIS motor bash guard, you use three millimeter Allen wrench to remove two screws in the front, and four millimeter Allen wrench to remove one screw in the back. Next, we need to remove this Bosch design cover, a T20 wrench in these two spots. We'll remove this cover. Next step is to disconnect the five wires going into the motor. Right. So the next step is to remove the six motor bolts, three on each side. So start by releasing the bolts. Once the motor is released, you want to rotate the motor out of the frame. To reinstall the motor, you need to rotate these connection plates into the frame, like so. It's crucial that the wires fit between the metal bracket and the carbon frame. They need to come right out of this slot here. Next, we'll feed the bolts in to the motor. Don't tighten them yet. So we'll tighten the motor bolts. It's a six millimeter Allen wrench, tightened at 20 Newton meters. Do the drive side first, front to back. To reconnect the wires, start with the small ones. Bosch wires have an indicator. This groove, white or otherwise, should always be facing up on the bike. So we connect the wires black first, then gray, then blue, and finally red. Then we do the power wire, push it in until it clicks, then tuck any excess cable back into the frame. So we're gonna install the Bosch design cover. It has a hook that attaches to this part of the motor it on. Make sure all the wires are underneath the cover and then tighten with a T20 wrench. We'll attach the motor bash guard now. Start with a four millimeter Allen wrench and tighten the rear bolts. Don't tighten all the way yet. With a three millimeter Allen wrench, you want to align the guard holes with the frame holes and start the bolts. And then finish tightening the rear bolt all the way. To install the down tube bash guard, start with the forward bolt and install the rear bolt all the way. These use a two and a half millimeter Allen wrench and tighten down the front bolt all the way. That'll pull it right into place. So we're gonna reinstall the left crank arm, check the markings that it's an actual left crank arm. 
and then install it per the manufacturer's instructions. For more information about the Ibis Oso or any of Ibis Cycles, visit ibiscycles.com.